Alright, good day guys. Welcome to part two of roof framing plan. Um, today we want to look at installing the rafters in our pre-prepared roof framing plan. But before we do that, we need to check and ensure that we are actually on the current layer. The current layer should be um, your roof members because that's what we're going to be actually installing. Um, we're going to need another version of the roof for this slab portion. So before we um, do any modifications to this roof we have pre-prepared, let us just copy the structure. So um, we would basically have a copy to feature our slab roof. Alright, so we're going to be focusing on this one as our roof framing um, plan. Um, to avoid the confusion, again, it would be clearer if we turn off our A wall layer, thereby just um, revealing the roofing that we're going to be creating. So I'm going to be turning off my A wall, and um, I could also turn off my A slab roof. So let's turn off the slab roof. So we're just left with the basic um, roof. Alright, um, in terms of putting in the rafters, the first one we want to put in are those that basically find themselves at the point of, of two hip rafters or at the end of a ridge. So um, the first ones we would have put in, for example, at this end of the roof would have been a center one here, which also goes in this direction and also in this direction. Now the purpose of those are to be the features from which the basic offset for our hip jack rafters will be offsetting. So um, our spacing would have been 400 as predetermined. So we do an offset of 400 millimeters enter from our central hip jack 400 400 400, 400, 400, 400, and uh, I'm not sure if we could squeeze another one. All right. But all we are concerned with are the hip jacks, which would be on this side, because the hip jacks on this side would be turned in an alternate position. So we will trim away using our hip as the trim boundary. And we want to trim away. Oh, let's get back in there. Let's let's go trim. And my trim boundary. Enter. And I would want to be trimming away all these features. And let's get that one. Um, as opposed to offsetting on the other side. Um, we could just use the, the mirror command. But since the center lines are not lines that we would need, um, let us just offset them so we would just mirror just the ones we actually need. Um, the thickness of rafters would have been 50 millimeters. So what we do is we offset 25 millimeters on each side. So it's 25 on that side. 25 on that side, 25 on that, 25 on that, 25 on that, 25 on that, 25, 25, 25 on that side, 25, 25, 25, and the center one, 25 and 25. All right. Now, what we want to be doing is to is to mirror all these hip jack rafters to mirror them over onto this side. But it is obvious that our mirror line would have been in the center here. So to do that, we go modify mirror, and we select those that we wish to mirror, like this. We would like to mirror these. 
we don't necessarily need the center one so I'm careful to avoid them we don't necessarily need the center ones over on that side so we mirror these I have finished my selection I give a enter and my mirror would obviously be in the center between this point to that point you would have noticed that the rafters would have been mirrored on the other side we could give a similar command to mirror these rafters along this side using our hip as our mirror line to do that we give a mirror command or enter since that's the last command we did select all the pieces you wish to mirror including the center one because you want that mirrored here as well give a enter and AutoCAD says specify first point of mirror line we specify this point AutoCAD says specify second point of mirror line we give the other end of the mirror line um, our rafters would have been mirrored along this line all right so it's it's a lot easier than having to manually offset those um in terms of this side we could um do a similar operation we could give a mirror so let's go back into mirror or we could just press enter since that's the last thing i did and we would want to be mirroring this that one that one that one um, again, I'm being careful to avoid the center ones because we don't necessarily need the center ones over on that side. So I'm um, just selecting the rafters. And this time my mirror line would have been this 45 degree line because we want to mirror around this mitered corner. So we give an enter. AutoCAD says select first point of mirror line should have been perhaps this point or the other end it doesn't matter which first second point would have been this point again the rafters would have been mirrored around um, this hip rafter and wherever we have a similar roof shape we could um, do that and that would have gotten out of that quite easily um, we could do a similar operation up here but since we already have them down here again we could mirror all the rafters down here onto this side over here so what we would basically get is a mirror of everything down here being mirrored onto this face over here um, so what do we do we go again mirror we select everything we wish to mirror which are these rafters Oops, I've accidentally selected my hip, so let me shift and select to let it go. And I'm going to be selecting um, these rafters. I'm going to be avoiding my center lines. I don't need to carry my center line, so I'm avoiding. We have just put it just so as to just have one portion of the roof sorted out but with that sorted out um there is really no need to be offsetting the center lines here on so i'm selecting all the rafters on this end of the building including these rafters including these center lines i've selected everything at um give an enter and we would want it mirrored along the center point because we would want every mirrored along a center line somewhere here so my mirror line could perhaps be there i give an enter and we would have it mirrored on that side we have some cleaning up but it's a lot easier than having to manually um, put those in so um because here for example we would have had um some mess happening let's do a basic trim let us select this as our termination line and we would want to get rid of that piece this piece this piece 
anything else over there would have to be deleted um, so we would have taken this piece out it's in the wrong direction and um, everything in this quadrant would need to go as well all right again we do a trim and we will take away this piece this piece and bye bye all right here we go these two could be um, extended to this line let's do an extend we are extending to this line enter and we would like to extend all these four still short of a few so let's do a copy let us copy this one here not certain how many we're going to need and let us hold it at this point which matches this point which also matches this point could i get another little piece all right let's see what happens with that all right and we could basically trim using this as our boundary and let's trim away oh it seems to have been in an extend mode let's go trim using this as my boundary I would like to trim away these pieces. Enter. There we would have had it. Okay. So um, this piece of the roof is um, basically shaping up. Alright. Now these rafters in here would be running this direction, left to right, left to right. All right, but it would be smart to offset them from the central one, and we would go in both directions. For example, offset my spacing of 400, enter. I'm careful now to select my center one because the rafters are measured from the center of one rafter to the center of another. Then I pick one from this side, and I'm coming this side one from this side do it in an alternate way thereby wherever the the, the odd space let that odd space uh, basically fall in the center as opposed to at any end all right so that would that's what would have happened at, at that point and we could basically extend them over onto this side Alright, so let's extend those to that and let's extend this one to this one here. Alright, All right. we could delete our center lines because there's really no need to keep those anymore. So we could now get rid of our center lines that we had put in. Even down here, we could take our center lines now out so let me do just that taking the center lines out because really we just wanted to show the thickness of rafters so there is no need for a center line to be displayed here all right so there's still some cleaning up to be done we have not yet um offset our hip rafters our main roofing members have not yet been um offset it so um again let me take these two center ones out Good. but again these need to have thickness okay right? these need to have thickness um so let me do a copy let me copy for example these two if i enter i want to hold it mid between for example these two points automatically I hold it there and I could perhaps paste one here let me paste one here let me paste one paste one and paste one yeah again we could ex we could delete these central lines out let's delete those out and we could now extend our rafters over so let us extend our rafters to touch this line and to touch this line enter and let's send them over yonder there we go all right 
So that's what happens to that portion of the roof. Okay. Uh, and in a similar way, we would have gone around the roof and um, fixed that up in a similar manner. All right. So a similar operation would have been carried out here. Um, wherever we have those, a similar operation would be carried out here. Let's do another one, for example. Let's do this side, see how that works out. Again, we try to put in the main members first, remember that. All right. So here we have a ridge uh, meeting with two hips. Obviously, this is a point of interest. So what we want to do is put in our three main rafters at that point. Let's go for line. And one is going to be running. Each time they cross a, a main member, then they are terminated. So let's push that back because um, rafters don't cross each other like that. They, st they terminate. All right. Another one from there. It's going in this direction. As soon as it crosses, we return. Another thing we have to ensure that we are working in, with the ortho mode on to ensure that the lines move either perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. Here I'm getting a snap, which indicates a perpendicular snap. Let's accept that. And another rafter from this end will be running here. All right. And again, now from these two rafters, we'll do the offset. Um, so we could be offsetting a distance of 400 as our spacing and we are going 400 in this direction 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 until this entire space has been filled all right to avoid the confusion let us trim and clean up at this point so let's trim whatever has crossed this line here. For example, this piece, as a matter of fact, all those. Let's also clean this that crosses this line because that's not the face we're in. Let's get that out. Let's also get these out. Mm -hmm. Another one here. And one final one here. So that's the direction that those rafters will be running. But along the ridge board, along the ridge board, what you want to be doing is you want to uh, offset them, like I said earlier, in either direction or in both directions. So we do offset or 400 is default. Enter 400 from this one in, 400 in, 400 in. And whatever space is left, let's accept that. All right. Um, same thing is going to be happening on this side. So you want to do offset 400 from this one in, 400 from this one in, 400 from this one in. And again, let's clean up whatever that crosses this line. Nothing should cross. It. That one crosses. That one crosses. And that one crosses. Same thing over here. Shouldn't cross. Shouldn't cross. Shouldn't cross. Alright? Because on this side we have a hip that naturally would be falling in this direction. Yes? Here we would have had a hip that would be falling in this direction. So right along here would naturally be a valley. Alright? Um, there we, you wouldn't have enough here to mirror on the other side, so we could continue with offsetting. All right, let's do some offsetting over there because you really wouldn't have enough to effect a proper mirroring. So, um, um, I'm running out of real estate because uh, my lines should have been on the other side, really. Let's do an extend. And let us extend them to this line. Enter. Let's extend that one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. And this one. And also that this one should be extended to that line. 
right? We want to trim off all of them that crosses this line because we are only concerned right now with this particular face. So let's do a trim again using this as our boundary. And we want to take away all of these pieces. Alright, we could have, we could just make a sweep, but I'm trying to be careful. Let's sweep them. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um we could do a mirror because obviously these would be mirrored onto this face. Because I'm seeing a part a mitered corner here, which means the direction will be changing, you know, in this general direction here. So we could do a mirror. Or if you'd like, you could do your offset first. Um, whichever one suits you best. Alright. So you, I guess you get the basic concept in terms of how to um, put in your basic rafters. Because all, you, all is necessary now is just to offset, for example, your 25 on either side. And um, you would have those. Alright. As it relates to cleaning up, however, because we still have not offset our main roof members yet. And so um, there's still some amount of untidiness occurring on each hip. Uh, let me show you how we will basically clean that portion up. Um, let's give hip thickness as well. So let's do an offset of say 25 millimeters, and um, which is one inch on each side. One inch on that side as well. Here goes again. One inch on that side. One inch on that side. One inch from that side of our ridge, one on that other side as well. Let's just complete this portion of the roof so um, you get the basic, <coughs> basic idea. Let's offset that hip and also on that side. Eh? Um, let's also do a valley. Uh, so on this side, I'm gonna stop here because um, these have not yet been offset. Um, let's also grab this as well and offset that. Uh, let's do this one and stop here because um, you'd have to complete the others in order to properly fix that up. All right, so let's have a look at the piece we're working on. Um, at this point, we could now remove the center lines because really the center lines were just there to have something from which to offset um, the thickness of rafters um, and we could now trim out which is quite a tedious process but um, there is another way but to trim and we would basically be trimming for example between, uh, that is everything between our hip rafters so we select both hip rafters as our boundary line give a enter and um, we would basically go through cleaning up inside um, the hip rafters all right so wherever the hip rafters um, intersects or, or the hip jacks intersects with a hip rafter um, we're basically cleaning up showing um, the, e the exact joint between the hip and the hip jack rafters all right mm, so let's, uh, let's get at these pieces um, I'm moving a little bit slow, but um, you you should be able to move a little bit faster. Right. My fingers are not as ah. Now this is the tricky part. Let's leave that for last. Eh? That's the tricky part right there. Uh, a lot of persons not not certain as how to treat with that part of it, eh? but it's quite simple. Uh, let's um, let's clean this one up again. Trim, trim boundaries. So whatever lies between. When printed, however, these might not even show. But because um, it's it's actually AutoCAD, and it makes no sense you are drawing in AutoCAD, and uh, you don't have even a neat presentation, and and so on. Um, be meticulous. We recommend that you, you go the extra mile and actually clean these little blips out. Never can tell um, who your files will be used. Okay. 
Uh, where am I now? Oh, I, hope I'm, I hope I'm there soon. Alright, uh, salad. But I just want to do a portion of the roof with you. Um, so you see how we. Uh, ah, so we're there again. Alright, since we're there, we might as well get at it. Um, what would be happening here is the same operation. You would want to trim out wherever rafters crosses the, the, the ridge, uh, moving backwards. And then um, let's take this one out. Nothing crosses the ridge. Nothing crosses the ridge. Alright, let's terminate. Um, let's take that piece out. That piece out so we can get at this. Get at that. Alright. And um, let's also stop this piece, and let's also stop this piece, and that is what happens. <coughs> that is how it, what happens at the termination there. All right. So to zoom in, so you see how it actually terminates. There are still some blips, however. For example, out outside here. You may want to have uh, a basic cleaning up. Yeah. Inspecting carefully. There goes another one. Uh, not, um, here is a remnant of a line that we had left there. Uh, here we go. This is where we stopped. And we could um, continue to take out these pieces. I did. I just did a trim enter just now, as opposed to selecting the trim boundaries. I just did a trim enter, so I can move a little bit more freely. All right, and again, so this end down here is complete now. All right, this end is a complete end, but a, but a complete um, roof structure could or should actually look like. All right, similar operation will, will be taking place up here in terms of again we remove the central lines because there's no need for the central line um, situation here anymore so let's take that out and we trim out between our hip rafters and uh, but the main area would be this point here so again we trim and I, let me do them one at a time for good measure that piece is coming out that's coming out that piece would come out nothing crosses the ridge nothing crosses the ridge nothing crosses the ridge all right let's take you out let's take you out let's take you out all right let's take you out and let's take you out that's what happens there all right yeah, that's that's what happened at that intersection there mm -hmm. same thing again trim these two boundaries and it, the cycle continues um, I, I'm not going to be doing the entire roof video because it's just the same process over and over again. Um, it's just a matter of repeating the process at each um, at each roof end. For example, at this end, we will start by the cycle again. Central line, blah blah blah. Offset your 400. Do your offset of 25s, and um, you'd have gotten that. All right. Um, when you're finished, however, your finished product, your finished product should um, have all the rafters or all the members put in, looking pretty much like this. All right. I have posted. Um, I have some some members turned off. Let me turn. Let me turn some layers on. Uh, for good measure, I have some hatch, for example, that I'm certain are off. Uh, my stiffness, uh, my text. Let me get some text in there. Um, uh, do I have any other layer off that I might, my walls, for example? I might need my walls in there. Now let's put my slab back around that. Um, I think I think that's it. Don't have any other layers off? Yes. Yes. So that's what a complete, um, well labeled. An annotated um, roof plan would basically depict. This um, sample is also found in the blog bcd.blogspot, um, and you could look at your roof framing plan for a complete um, 
annotated roof plan thanks guys and the next video i'll be showing you um how to reinforce your slab your your roof slab all right until then ciao